after questioning by FBI agents New Yorker Ali Karani admitted in 2017 to being a member of something called Unit 910. It's the black ops unit of Hezbollah, controlled by Iran. Karani told agents he was trained to be a suicide bomber and was scouting targets in New York City. He's now in prison. Another Unit 910 member in prison this year, New Jersey resident Alexi alias Alex Saab, had also scouted potential targets around New York City. While the exact number of Hamas and Hezbollah sleeper cells operating within the United States is not known, a comprehensive study by George Washington University last year found the most Hezbollah activity in Michigan, New York, North Carolina, and California. If Americans are wondering if they're safe from the kind of attack Hamas carried out against Israel, terrorism experts say the answer is not encouraging. Former FBI Special Agent Eric Karen. We have over a thousand joint terrorism task force cases going on here in America today relating to Muslim extremists. So far this year, authorities have caught 151 people on the FBI's terrorism watch list trying to illegally enter the U.S. through the southern border. That's 50 times higher than two years ago. Most are coming through Panama's Darien Gap, where journalist Michael Yan says he's seeing three to 5,000 migrants pass through every day on their way to the U.S. I see a lot of Chinese coming through. Most of the people you see coming through are military-age males of any sort, right? I see uh, Afghans coming in by the thousands. I've had people come through that say they're from Gaza. CBN News correspondent Chuck Holton has also reported from the Darien Gap and says he has no doubt dangerous persons are headed for the U.S. border. I interviewed a guy from Afghanistan. Uh, we found many people from Somalia and Yemen. We found people from Syria, uh, Iran. We have seen people coming through. Former agent Karen is especially concerned about America's ports, where Customs and Border Protection is supposed to scan every incoming container for radiation, but physically inspects only 3%. We have 328 ports of entry into America. They all have to be secure, and many of them are soft. Former House Speaker Kevin McCarthy warned this week that what happened in Israel could happen here. McCarthy said, we should wake up ourselves. We could have the same thing happen next week to us. Our intel is never perfect, and we've got a wide open border. The idea that they don't want to attack us again like a 9-11, but even bigger, is foolish. They want to attack us. They want to destroy America. Dale Hurd, CBN News.